Gaba is the traditional beverage of the Pacific. It's been consumed for well over 3,000 years. It's not an alcohol and it's not addictive. The inspiration behind Gaba X was basically creating a Dalanoa platform that underpinned Pacific concepts like Dalanoa, Fai Gaba, Gaba, and the Whakawe Gola. So in, in the Gaba X space, we try and build kind of like the confidence and the empowerment so when people walk out of the space they feel that one they're heard and that their voice is important and hopefully they can take that away with them. The kava just facilitates the dalanoa, right? Sometimes people make it the focus but it's not really the focus, it's just the facilitator. The dalanoa and the relationships that are occurring in the space, that's the focus. Um, I found out about the Noko Te Ao Social Action Grants through Googling. I think for me, the best thing that the grant enabled me to do was take the pressure away, the, you know, the financial pressure, because initially GovX would charge people to come, but just taking that away and, you know, creating safe and fun and like empowering, and encouraging space without having to worry about the money side. That was really important because I want people to just turn up with who you are, how you're thinking, how you're feeling, and it's just tala no and drink kava and hopefully you walk away and you feel like you mean something in this world, you know? The Gava X project provided a safe space for those who face discrimination and judgments for their lived experience of mental distress. What I've learned so far is that everyone experiences mental distress at some point of their life. You're not alone. But if I can just achieve uh, normalizing tala noa, that cultural way of Dalanoa, Fai Kava and Kava, and have that ripple effect through the generations where people can feel like they can talk about real things, then I think I've done an okay job, you know, okay enough, <laughs> yeah.